So hi guys, I had to change my stream today um, as something came up at the last minute and I have to go out now. So um, you might be watching this later on Ustream, but you've got the recorded so um, you can watch that and just pretend it's live. Just have the thought this is live and then it's the same thing, right? <laughs> Um, I doubt there's anybody on Skype. If you have any questions, then you can ask me a question on Skype, which is Lisa Cairns 12. Just opening it now, I'm going online. Uh, I have some questions in my inbox that I'll answer and I'll do a bit of an introduction then oh hi Julie then I have to have a vermoose vermoose a bit the hoose okay introduction So all there is, is what's happening. And this is the only constant there is, is what's happening. Um, is aliveness or whatever word you want to call it. Sometimes I call it amness, beingness, thisness, this, here. The only thing there ever is, is this. And then in this, loads of appearances happen. Loads of um, feelings, thoughts, ideas sceneries, clouds, windows, walls, people, cars, roads, loads of things appear and then the, what happens in the human is this an identification with um, specific forms. The thoughts normally and the emotions, the feelings, the sensations and the body and actions, past and future actions of the body. And that is taken to be who you are. What I described is to be, to be taken to be a separate individual that lives separately from everything else is an acti and is acting independently from everything else. And this very energy and assumption is what leads to suffering. There's nothing wrong with thoughts and feelings and the body. It's just that that is who you are. That's part of who you are, but there's also everything else. And you aren't the person deciding what uh, the body does. The body is one, another flow in what is. Believing that somebody is acting independently inside of the body is like believing you are the moon or you are the clouds and you're acting independently as the moon and the clouds. The only freedom is, is when that energy, that personal self collapses and then there is this with lots of appearances happening, but none of them are any longer you. So there's not somebody in there fighting for you anymore. There's just what is. And then there's still really funky thoughts, there's still really funky stories, there's still really funky feelings and emotions, but they don't belong to anyone anymore. They're happening in boundlessness. And it's an energetic shift from feeling separate and divided in here and like you are incomplete and life is not enough to an explosion back into this. And then there's this, but you don't any longer feel incomplete because there's no longer a you there existing separately. There's no longer a you there looking for something, looking for a better future, looking for a better idea of itself, trying to defend itself, trying to be something. It's just life happening and there's no agenda, personal agenda anymore, there's just things happening. Stan just says, beautiful girl, beautiful scream, beautiful sound. Well, shall I let you into a secret, Stan? I got a new computer! <laughs> so I now have perfect sound and perfect camera. It's very happy. <laughs> um, 
Okay. It's so simple, life. Freedom is this. Cageness is believing that you exist and you need to find yourself an event in the future. So say for an example for this stream, me coming on at the wrong time for my stream. Suffering is a person that believes I could have done something different and it's not fair on them. How dare she stream at a different time? I sacrifice seeing my friends to be here for her and then she lets me know at the last moment who does she think she is that is suffering the idea that you are somebody that exists separately inside the body you are acting independently and that lisa out here is acting independently that is suffering Freedom is when that energy collapses, and then there's this, and then just what's happening. And it doesn't matter if I stream or not, because sitting and looking at the wall, or making yourself as coffee, coffee or surfing the internet, is just as much it as me being here. Nothing in the flow of life gives you freedom. The flow of life brings pleasure and pain, but pleasure and pain aren't happiness and unhappiness anymore. They're just pleasure and pain. Freedom is this. This. And it seems like lots of different spiritual teachers and masters throughout the centuries have been talking about this. And they say it in so many different ways. The first way I heard it was in Buddhism where it was, you've got to be in the moment. And then the more and more it seemed like Lisa progressed, although it wasn't Lisa progressing, it was Lisa crumbling and Lisa falling away. Um, the more and more that, um, that she crumbled, it became apparent it's not about Lisa staying in the moment, it's the moment was always who I was. I was never the Lisa. Lisa was a beautiful appearance in this that comes and goes and she she still comes and goes but she's no longer a separate entity anymore she's a character appearing in this but it's no longer me me is this what is I am what is or you could say there is no I and then there's just what is hello screen um, okay, I have to change my screensaver. <laughs> so this is it. So when speakers are saying this is it, this, and it's the person comes up and starts believing that happiness is in the flow and that it's Lisa's fault that she wasn't here on time for the stream. And she's so selfish and then life reminds you this this is where you find home your nature what is is home always problems have only ever existed in time you have only ever existed in time and you the character the Lisa was only ever a functioning a beautiful functioning a really creative functioning but it's not functioning but it's not a solid thing and it's not a separate independent person there's nobody getting life wrong there's nobody acting independently from everything there is just life and that life is absolute love it's all no thing or everythingness there's no solid thing it's all oneness or not to, whichever way you want to put it. Stan says he likes looking at Lisa better than the wall. Well, I can say a few men have commented on that before. <laughs> I'm joking. Lisa's the exception. <laughs> I think it's my earrings that you like best, Anne. And of course, you, the body has preferences but if I don't appear it doesn't matter so I have preferences to eat chocolate cake over dog poop I have preferences for these earrings over no earrings but if these break and 
disappear, that's the way it goes. What you're looking for is never found in an object. What you're looking for is what appears, always what appears, pain or pleasure. And really, ultimately, in the intimacy of this moment, there is no pain or pleasure. There's just sensation happening. But I just try and describe it. And then I don't really know the purpose of these talks, but how could I know the purpose of these talks when I don't even know or understand the purpose of life? Or you could put it in a different way. Um, you could say, there is no purpose to life, so why would there be a purpose to these talks? Life is free to just appear. Purpose was only ever an imagined thing that humans use, an imagined thing the human used to communicate. So if there's no purpose to life, how could there be a purpose to these talks? And there's just speaking happening and hearing happening. And then there's an imagination, there might be an imagination and somebody's listening, that they are existing independently and that they're on a mission to enlighten themselves. Where is that now? That's not true. Where is that now? You are this. The sound of Lisa's voice, the light, the beautiful hairs, or the beautiful ears. Woo! <laughs> you are this, always. Or there is no you, and all there is is this. And this is home. Not what you think about home. Thinking comes and goes. Thoughts come and go, emotions come and go, bodies come and go, characters come and go. All things constantly change, that's why it's no thing. You won't find freedom in that. Freedom is in this. And that's love. That is love. Oh my god, I love my new computer, but you guys don't see the computer. To you, there is no computer. To me, there is just computer. There is computer. I love the computer. Da 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 da. But if a bomb came and just blew up this computer now, that would be that. Then there would be no computer. It doesn't bring anything. But it's pleasurable. Okay, so I have some questions in my inbox. I have lots of questions from a gentleman called James, but James, I cannot answer all your your questions. He sometimes sends five or six a day. Maybe today I could try, but I think it's just that you need to express yourself to me. It's not really that you want me to answer. This is from Jacob. Hi, Jacob. Let me just reply to that at the same time, otherwise I'll forget. Last time James was complaining that I always call everybody sweetie. He was like, how can you call me sweetie? How do you know I'm a sweetie? <laughs> I was like, okay sweetie, I won't call you sweetie anymore sweetie. Hi, sweetie. This is just Jacob. Um, what date is it today? Sunday the 9th. So, Jacob, hello Lisa, I really like what you had to say about how life and time are appearances here in this moment in stillness. A question does arise about time. As an example, I type this question in this moment and then later it, in apparent time you read this question in another moment. Are there two moments separate by time? This seems unlikely. Two is a four letter word. Hmm? 
two is a four letter word. In my language two is a three letter word. So there must be just the moment, one moment. Oh, I think Lisa is sometimes a little retarded. Remember simplicity of questions. Okay, let me try that again. <laughs> Are there two moments separated by time? This seems unlikely. Two is a four letter word. So there must be just the mo one moment. How does this work? Two events, two moment in time. So confusing. Language and intellectual intellect fails. Also, the Facebook picture of Lisa with the butterfly face paint around her eye is like a beautiful visual pun. We are all metaphorically butterflies. Lisa is putting the eye in butterfly, but there is no eye in butterfly. Oh, exactly. With love, Jacob. <laughs> That's sweet to look at it like that. Um, the middle bit of your question I don't really understand, which is more than likely the way I'm reading it. Um, but I get the sense about time. So the only freedom is, is this, what is, and time is always appearing in what is. It's never this, what is, has come about because of time. But this comes back to your experience rather than the intellect. If you go in the intellect, that doesn't make sense. And this feels like it is a result of time. If you go back to the experience, which is all we ever have or all there ever is, then this is always timeless. And everything appears and disappears in stillness, including the idea of time. This life and the way humans interact seem to work through time and the ability to comprehend time. But if the brain was bigger and more complex, then we would we would be working through lots of different dimensions, not just time. Time is just the way the brain works. It's not an actuality. There's always just this, and everything appears and disappears in this. It's just like a kaleidoscope. If you sit and watch a kaleidoscope, it's the same colours, the same energy, just changing and changing and changing. And then there's a separate mind in that colours that are changing, believing there's actually something happening. There's somebody separate experiencing time and experiencing the movement of colours as if there is time happening. But really it's just energy changing in this moment, always this moment, spontaneously appearing in this moment. And it's just energy changing in a different form. The same energy, the same stillness, the same moment, always this. It doesn't make sense intellectually, but experientially, it's so obvious. And what does even experientially mean? It's not even really experientially, but what the fuck do I say? How do I put that in words? Eek! <laughs> this is so much fun. This is from Gerard. Dear Stan, I'm not Stan. This is Lisa. Dear Stan, Lisa says animals... Gerard, you sent it to the wrong person. No sense of self, so they don't suffer. If they don't suffer, that is liberation. So let death happen. My soul shall take an animal body. But Lisa, Tony Parsons, say there is no me, so there is no transmigration. We come back to the pre 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 valiant nihilism. Let us harm animals, etc. They don't suffer. Why would you assume that that's what I'm saying? Let us harm animals, they don't suffer. Why would you assume that that is... Gerard's thought that if he didn't have the idea that animals suffer, he would harm animals. I don't have the idea that animals suffer, yet this body continuously looks after a street dog that found her in Thailand. She feeds her very well. She walks her three times, twice or three times a day. She spends money taking her to all these different countries. So without the idea 
that animals don't suffer, you think that the body-mind mechanism will hurt animals. It's not what happened here. More really, maybe, what Gerard's saying, if I didn't have that idea, I would harm animals. Or maybe Gerard's saying, if others didn't have that idea, that others suffer, then they would harm me. That's your projection. That is not what I'm saying. You filled in the gaps there 100%. But that's what most people do when they hear me talking about this. They fill in the gaps and they think, if I don't have the idea that I hurt animals or that animals suffer, then I will hurt animals. How is that what I'm saying? How is that what I'm saying? You, compassion is not an idea. Most people think, though, that what keeps me from hurting animals is an idea. Compassion isn't an idea. Most of the times when we're giving up our lives for other body-mind mechanisms, we have no idea about ourself and other. Oh, Stan says that Gerard doesn't believe what Stan said, or didn't like the Stans, or didn't believe... The answer Stan gave, so he's now asked me. <laughs> oh, if you've already had it from um, Stan, Gerard, I'm going on to the next person. But love you lots, Gerard, and uh, see you soon. Just put... I think I'll reply to this again. Hmm. This one is from a Greek person, and I cannot read that name. Okay, she's got it in the name. Igor. 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 Igor, maybe. Um, hi, Igor. Hi, Lisa. I'm writing with the help of an interpreter, as I know only Russian language. Okay. I want to ask you how... Can you explain such phrases that sa that sound through it that people find Lisa? There is only the process, but there is no figure. Everything is there, there is nothing. Everything is a dream, I is just imagination. You cannot explain everything, a single phrase. Why ask this question? How do you know everything that is listed above? What is the process, the mechanism of occurrence that believes that there is something or not? Is there, if there is only a process that anyone can know, is there a process that anyone can know about? Especially because I know that imaginary who, imaginary Igor. It's a little bit um, um, nonsensical, the um, translation Igor, but I'll try my best to get a sense of what you're asking. Um, how do you know everything that is listed above? I don't really, that's just the way that the, the, the body-mind mechanism is trying to talk about non-duality with others. Freedom came about here in ultimate not knowing, in just this appearing, in not um, knowing something. So I don't really know all these things that I say, but there's an attempt to try and point to that mystery or question mark. But if you think that I believe what I say, and that you should believe what, you, what I say, then we're just getting into another religion and another dogma. And that's really not it. This is talking about absolute freedom, the freedom of this, which is unknowable. If there is only a process that, is there a process that someone can take? The process is already happening, or you could say there is no process. Like, things are already appearing and disappearing, and it's never been you guiding yourself, or 
the way through life. It's never been about you guiding your way through it. So things are happening as listening to non-duality. But you'll never know the process. There'll be a thought believing that it knows the process. And that belief will be an identification of someone. Believing it knows where it's going. Believing it understands non-duality. But that's a thought that comes and goes. That's an idea that comes and goes. And then when you're sitting and you're eating your dinner, where is there any idea about your spiritual enlightenment or your spiritual progress? Especially because I know that I'm imaginary. Well, then that's the question. Who is it that knows that it's imaginary? You don't know it. There's no solid you there. There's a thought that comes up every so often. Who is that person that feels like it's somebody linear? A thought comes up and goes, oh, I know I'm imaginary. And then when you're eating your dinner or you're making love or you're running through the park, it's completely forgotten being imaginary or not. There's just what is. The thing that's constant is what is, is this, 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 or aliveness, or beingness. That's home. Not anything you think you know. Not anything about you. It's always this. Not any concept. This is home. Woohoo! <laughs> Hi Howard! Hi Be Belief Patrol. He's joking that the word too is a cuss word. Bad word. Oh, man, I'm so stupid sometimes. <laughs> I didn't get that at all. Funny. Hey, Alex. Nice new picture. So, for this realisation to happen to no one, does this Lisa character must really want to find the truth. Does this Lisa character must really want to find the truth or is this something that just happens? Love your hair. What computer did you get? Cheers. I got the new MacBook Pro. It was a gift. I love Apple. Hey, thanks. Do you like my hair? Um, does this Lisa character must really want to find the truth? I don't understand that. Does this Lisa character must really want to find the truth? I think you've um, forgotten some of the words in that sentence. Um, Did maybe this Lisa character must. In the story of Lisa, yeah, she was desperate to find the truth because a lot of suffering was coming up and when there's a lot of suffering coming up, all what's strong in that person is a want to get out of that suffering. So at a very young age she ran around a lot of places looking for freedom in the world and she couldn't find it. It takes most people a lifetime to realise, and they still don't realise that happiness can never be found in life, in the flow of things. Happiness is always what's happening. You can never get out of what's happening. I was watching this documentary yesterday, and Lisa picked it, and it was um, a documentary, it was really sweet, about this guy that had a small penis, and he was exploring the whole... Um, notion of having a small penis and what that meant and how he could be happy with having a small penis ultimately and um, and he went <laughs> I can't believe I'm telling this this is so funny and he went and spoke to the guy with the world's largest penis and the guy with the world's largest penis was really sweet because he was like people always come to me saying they'd be so happy with my size dick and having a huge penis and and he said but I always say to them but you're still you no matter what size it is it still always comes back to your you 
and and I thought that was really sweet because no matter what you have it, if you're suffering then whatever you have won't be good enough so what always comes back down to is this moment is what is if you're suffering then what is will be really uncomfortable if you're not then it's just as it is It's never to do with what's happening, happening, big penis, small penis. I don't think he was into this subject, but he had what every guy wants or wanted or what most guys wanted. He was like, but I'm still me. I thought that was sweet. I can't remember the name of the documentary. You're going to ask me now. <laughs> I don't remember. Hey, Julie. You have a nice picture, Julie, or a nice smile. Hi, Lisa. I invented a new word today. Inexperience instead of experience. Inexperience. So you're in experience. Experience. I think that's what it says. I'm not a very good reader. So yeah, that's sweet. <laughs> Inexperience. Not experience. Like an expectation of experience. Oh, I can't read it. In experience, experience. Did I say it right? I'm a really bad reader, Julia. Really bad reader. It's hard for me to put letters together. It's so funny because I always have to present that to people because <laughs> when I'm doing these live streams, a lot of the time I'm having to read people's names or words that I'm not used to. And so people are always get the chance to see this, um, this reading talent of mine. <laughs> hey, MacBook Pro, that's great. Got one too. I'm happy for you. Question, I feel very much in this when I'm alone and with very close friends. I keep popping out with other people, family, especially at work and intellectually orientated environments. Does this happen to Lisa and what do you do? Oh, I don't know about Lisa's experience anymore. There's not someone in here registering Lisa's experience. Or even if there is, there's not somebody registering that. There's just life happening. But the reason that you or there's a popping out of it in diff in certain environments is because there's still a wanting to be a certain way in those environments. That's all. And that's not something that you can undo. That will get undone by itself. So there's still wanting um, praise or love or attention in those moments. And so in those moments, there'll be the seeking energy coming back up. And for a while Julia might try and avoid those situations but it's impossible but life will do its little dance like it always does and then eventually that will begin to fall away will begin to be seen by no one that more and more although it's not really more and more because there's only ever this but in the apparent story that what was always wanted was this moment and that getting these people to approve of you or make them happy or make you happy will never work but it's just, uh, I think in Advaita, traditional Advaita, they call it certain things, but I forget what they call it. It's just the energy of the person wanting something. Whenever there's discomfort, it's always because the person wants something different from what's happening, always. And then it always comes back to two wants, wanting love or trying to avoid fear. And then also the person that registers going between the two. That person that registers going between the two is not a friend. That person that registers going between the two is still the sense of self. So don't trust, trust even that register. 
there's not even a U there to trust it or not, but that one that's registering the difference is, is still somebody. It's not you, it's not telling the truth in any way. Any thought is just a thought and it comes and goes and it's not really marking reality. So the one that registers the difference is still so is just thought energy and it doesn't matter. That's why I say I don't know about Lisa's experience because the interest in the stories about experience just goes. So even if there is somebody registering or if there is thoughts registering it, then there's not even interest in that. You come to the stage where you really don't know where you are. It's just happening. Hey, Thomas. Am I trying to get away from truth? The person's always trying to get away from truth. The person's always trying to find happiness and love in life. So it's always trying to find happiness in a particular object and in time. And so it's not that it's trying to go away from truth, it's just it keeps moving out of this moment and this moment is all that's ever looked for. This moment is home. I, that makes sense, thank you. Thanks, Julie. Hey, Stan, wow, beautiful screen. Oh, Jared, oh, okay. If there's any more questions, then um, you need to write them quickly. You're more than welcome to call me as well, but I have to vermouth. I am off to pick up some friends. So I have to, to dash. They are in from the USA. Hi, Lawrence. Hi, sweetie. You stream gone wonky, cuts out and then repeats what you just said. Am I trying to go away from... I think I don't accept myself completely. There's not somebody there that could accept yourself, Thomas. Um, but yeah, the person is always trying to run away from itself. But it's not about acceptance. Then this new thought pops up, I've got to accept myself, and then it seeks to accept itself. Home is here. The acceptance that's looked for is here. Always. It's so easy to keep in the loop, even in spirituality, of looking and looking in thoughts and what you think you know about yourself. This is it. Um, Lawrence, I think it might be you, because nobody else is complaining. Lawrence says that it keeps cutting out and going wonky. Um, and sometimes... That's, sometimes, Lawrence, that's because lots of people in your area are on the internet. But what's the nature of this person? The nature of this person is energies and thoughts and feelings that are being claimed to be someone. And that's just another energy that comes up. And it's a false energy. There's nobody actually there. There's nobody separate inside of the body and a world separate out there. There's appearances happening. Hi Lisa, so this program that's running is sometimes taking us in other times. There's a distance and a seeing it for what it really is. It's going to play out though, I guess, so nothing to be done. Thanks for your talks. It's not that nothing to be done, it's that you don't exist. Doing will always happen. So it's not quite nothing to be done. It's that you don't exist. Doing's always happening, things are always happening. You've never done any of it. So often people hear what I'm saying and they take on nothing to be done as a victim story. I'm not saying you're doing that, but just to talk about it as you brought it up. Um, and they take it on as a victim story, as if it's like as an ap apathy, I can't do anything. And that's just the opposite to I can do something and not what I'm saying. It's just the opposite story. And the mind like spazzes out and then but where can I go where can I sit I need an idea to sit in and the whole time the mind spazzing out and the freedom is right there in the beingness in which it appears in the stillness in which it appears in so it's spazzing out okay so it's not in what I can do it's not in what I can't do where do I go what do I believe da, 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 da. and the whole time there is beingness there is aliveness and stillness 
and the, the mind is always looking in the mind. Here it is. And the mind goes, where, 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 here, here. And that seems to be what this body-mind mechanism does. It reminds of here, here, this. Lawrence uses Internet Explorer, I think. He has to use Chrome, then it pops not out. Ah, okay. So it's different, it's better in some. Next time I stream, I'll um, from downstairs pull up the internet and plug it in just to make sure I've got perfect internet. But I think I've got really good internet. I'm really close to the box. This is it. This and the mind goes where 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 no I must believe this this spiritual teacher is right no this one is this one is it's about accepting myself not accepting myself doing something not doing something this and all the time it's there in everything stillness is in everything the emptiness is in everything what you look for is what appears pain nor pleasure. May you kill me right now, or something like that, Lalo. You don't exist already. You are dead. You never existed, Thomas. Your sound is perfect in Germany. It's often people setting providers. But yeah, and then also somebody recently said to me that um, and blocker uh doesn't work in safari but it does you've just got to search the internet and find the right one so i'm now you using only safari i like safari and i've got add block plus but you've just got to go through the internet and find the right one and it works perfectly it takes out all the ads from everything so you've got to make sure when you download ad block you download it for the specific um search uh, web browser that you're using and then you've got to watch Ustream in that web browser it's not going to work for all web browsers and, uh, and Stan says that Firefox oh no what did you say was better? Internet Explorer he says use Chrome hi Michael your transmission is coming through pers perfectly. Another thing that works sometimes if Ustream's playing up is just switching it all down and opening it up. Michael May says add block works really well. Yeah, it's really great. I mean, it's amazing that we can stream these and then we can avoid the ads. And then, of course, I just have to advertise for Ustream. You're more than welcome to buy ad free time through Ustream or donate them money in some sort of way. <laughs> of course, I donate them loads of money each month. And I give to charities. Hi, hey Michael. Um, but I have the vamoose. Vamoose in English means leave the hoose. Like rhyming slang. Slang. Vamoose beat the hoose. Any advice for dealing with the overwhelming flow in of love when awakening happens? Who? Who would deal with it? What happens when awakening happens is there's so much of an explosion of energy. But that's just stuff working its way out still. Like even the idea that you have to deal with yourself. Who has to deal with itself? There is love, but it feels so... Like it's going to explode. You feel like a... But that's just an experience. And then the idea comes up that you've got to do something. And then the seeker looks... The seeker will come back momentarily to look for something to do. It's just happening. There's just overwhelming love. And sometimes that overwhelming love can be quite uncomfortable because the body is like charged with energy. It's like you've been plugged into the wall. Richard, so there's just gratitude for the answer, then frustration for the ads. It's all just what's happening. Yeah, <laughs> that's sweet. I was just giving, that's funny, uh, Richard, because I was just giving advice about ad block. 
I'm using Adblock Plus for Safari at the moment. It's fantastic. Ah, says Thomas. This, this is the person that's moving that's frustrated. And then there's this. And then there's frustration appearing in it. But it's the person that's frustrated that's the problem. Frustration appearing in this is totally free. There's just sensation happening. This, this, this. I don't mean to dismiss anything that's felt or dismiss any discomfort. But I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta pick up some friends from the US of A. The US of A. They could only make, I had to pick them up specifically at 5 pm. Oh no. Yeah, when I stream. Okay. All right, my love. So I'll see you Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central European time and 7 p.m. British time, which is GMT, I think, at the moment. All right, thanks, guys. Love you. Bye.